Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this 2014 BMW M6. It is a black metallic. It looks gorgeous. Well, I should say that paint looks gorgeous when it's not all swirled up. This one's actually pretty hammered. I'm about to release what I believe to be the absolute best polishes on the market. Couple reasons. First of all, my original infinite, infinite cut and infinite finish, as you guys who have used them know, and even Evo All-in-One, uh, if you've used them, then you understand how fantastic they are. Now, raw material sourcing has been an issue. That's why the cost is a little higher on those but they are superior to pretty much everything I've tried. So that's why they're around. And I won't be messing with the Infinite Cut and the Infinite Finish formulas. They're gonna stay the same. Even Evo All-in-One is going to stay the same and stay in the Infinite lineup. There's a little bit of a difference between those and the brand new polishes that I'm going to not only use on this BMW, but also moving forward, um, I'm gonna use those more, but the reason is they're VOC free and water-based, which is pretty unique. So there's literally nothing in them. Um, I need to be as politically correct as I can when I say this. Basically, they're much safer than any kind of uh, polishes that are solvent-based. Um, it's just better for your body, better for your lungs, better for the environment, everything. Um, not only are they water-based and VOC free, but in comparison to Infinite Cut and Infinite Finish, they do a, a very close job, if not better in some aspects. Man, I'm trying to play them down, but there's no real way to play them down. I'm gonna, just gonna skip all the bullshit because that's what you guys appreciate me for. So the bottom line is Infinite Cut and Infinite Finish, not gonna change. The new VOC free and water-based formulas are going to be added in. I'm not sure what lineup they're gonna go in yet. Possibly the force field protection system line. I'm not sure as of today. They're not quite ready yet. I would say within the next month, uh, I'll be ready to do the labels and potentially do a pre-release where you guys can try this stuff, either as a promo when you purchase something on the site, I throw them in, or I might offer them in a larger size uh, pre-sale uh, so that you guys can get rolling with those and get some feedback out there before I officially release them. So the new stuff is awesome. Uh, the water-based formula is really, really, really nice to use. Um, it also is a sense of not only pride for myself, continuing the eco-friendly um, situation that I, I've been known for, but just to know that they're safer to use for me, that's important. Uh, that's not to say that you will have a problem if you use the solvent-based whatever. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they are safe. Uh, they are silicone-free, so they're body shop safe, uh, which is important if you're dealing with stuff in that kind of area. Um, but they're really good. They're really, really, really good. The cut definitely cuts well. The finish leaves and an absolute amazing finish. They're just different. So because I don't want to fool with an already good thing, I'm going to leave Infinite Cut and Infinite Finish there and Evo All-in-One. I will be developing an All-in-One. We are working on that now, but I'm focusing on launch of the compound and the, the polish in the VOC free water based uh, situation. So that's what I'll be using on this uh, BMW today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get it all prepped. I'm sure you guys have seen a bazillion videos on uh, wash, decontaminate with a clay bar, and then uh, get everything dry and prep for polishing. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. I'm going to cut the video now, and we'll be back when I'm ready to start polishing and showing off the new stuff. I'll be right back, guys.